Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back to the Modern Muslimah Project. I'm Na. And I'm... Leo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can see the nervousness. <laughs> Start. Okay, come on. Clap again. Assalamualaikum and hello everybody. Welcome again to the Modern Muslimah Project channel. And I am Nas. I'm me and we are here again to uh, speak and share with you on the topic of ditching the dating game. So the next question that we have is this: Ustaza, How do we find the right candidate? What are the things that I should look for, and what should I do? Hmm, interesting question. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you are with us, I think I am repeating this again. <laughs> I would suggest you stop finding and stop looking for the right candidate. Oh? Okay. Is it? Yes. Okay. This is interesting. Mm. Do not find, do not search, do not look for it. Because okay. what's meant to be yours will come to you. Okay? Oh. So, and again, because Allah already created your divine partner for you, special just only for you. Mm. All you need to do is your reset your mindset. Stop searching and stop finding on divine. Because when you are searching, it's that you are not complete. There's something missing in you. But actually, Allah already decide who is your divine partner. Okay, it's just a mystery. Allah will let it appear in your life once you are ready. So, mm. focus on what? Focus on your manners. Focus on your uh, mental health. Okay, your physical and spiritual health. Focus on these things. Okay, what to look for? Okay, so let's say lah, if you need to focus on looking ah Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam give a very specific mention in hadith riwayat by Imam Tirmizi when someone with religion character and you are satisfied okay so look for uh, apa, people with character with good religion and good conduct so these are the things that you need to focus on okay so while waiting for your divine partner to come and uh, swipe off your, your feet, feet. <laughs> Okay, so do not just wait lah, okay? For me, focus more on improving yourself, heal yourself if it's necessary, okay? Maybe you experienced breakup before, maybe you experienced, I don't know, childhood trauma or anything happened to you when you are in school. So you really need to go to through healing process, whatever that you need to clear your baggage, go and throw it away. Equip yourself with knowledge, okay? What kind of knowledge? Example I can give is communication uh, communication knowledge. Mm -hmm. Knowledge on how to communicate, on how to express your feeling, how to express your view and ideas without fighting. Uh, oh, this is good. Okay, so what else? Uh, if you love something, you love baking, focus more on baking. If you love on sewing, focus on sewing. You love photography, focus on photography. Whatever mm -hmm. you like, whatever your passion, focus on that. Be like uh, Sayyida Khadija radiyallahu anha. After she uh, lost her second husband, she focused on nurturing her children, building her business empire, and by Allah's will, she was given the best human being on earth, which is Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So, be the right person, okay? Your personality and your vibe will attract your divine partner to come to you. Okay, mm. when you are waiting, oh, where's my divine partner? When am I going to get married? When you do have that, it gives you a negative vibe. Okay, so the people that you attract also will become a people who is, who has no confidence to get married. They just don't want to get to know you. Okay, but when you are serious about yourself, you are firm, you equip yourself, you busy yourself with knowledge, with passion and everything, with the right mindset, inshallah, the great guy will come to you. And remember, Again, I want to repeat, Allah create us because Allah want us to worship Him. So you also need to remember, uh, improve your relationship with Allah, okay, be a better Muslimah sincerely because of Allah. Okay, whatever you do, you must choose that you do because you do it from your choice. I salat, I fast because of Allah. I choose to do it, not because out of fear. And leave whatever Allah said, do not do. Also, do it sincerely, not because of you fear. Oh, if I don't, if I don't do this, Allah will put me in hell. Please delete that mindset. Mm, I would like so. I would like to really second what uh, Nick has already mentioned just now. I think the right mindset is this, now, ladies. It's not about finding the right person, but it's about being the right person. 
So when you are the right person, inshallah, the right person will come. When you are positive, inshallah, you will attract positivity. And and yeah, um, the question on uh, what do I look for? What should I look for? I think religion should tops everything. You have religion, inshallah, your life will be taken care of. I do understand that many of us would want to marry someone who is good looking, who is pleasing to look at. And, and I don't think that there is anything wrong in that. Okay, but that should not be our top priority. Okay, because beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. So as long as that person is pleasing to look at, and I think that, that that should be enough. But what should top your priority is the deal. Because I remember my mom used to say, eh, handsome also you cannot eat what. <laughs> so yeah, if that person have deen, inshallah, he will be able to take care of you properly. And that's very, very important. Hope this is a benefit, ladies. suggest you stop finding and stop looking for the right candidate because what's meant to be yours will come to you do not just wait lah okay for me focus more on improving yourself heal yourself if it's necessary equip yourself with knowledge if you love something you love baking focus more on baking if you love on sewing focus on sewing you love photography focus on photography Thank you everybody for watching. We sincerely hope that you have benefited from this in one way or another. So, remember to share this video if you like it on your social media platform, be it on Instagram, Facebook or Twitter. The restaurant on Sainam said, if you show somebody to goodness, okay, you will also reap the same rewards. And if you are new, remember to hit the subscribe button. Masalama! Masalama.